Hello and welcome to this tutorial on taking a look at the new GP2 multifunction program. This tutorial is from the series Introduction to the GP2 Program Editor. In this tutorial I'll show you the new program editor. We will create a new program and look at its general layout. I'll import an existing program to show you the various areas of the program editor and then I'll also show you how to save and load your programs. Okay so here we have Delta Link in a recently installed sort of mode and um, first thing we need to do is create the GP2 multifunction program. To do that we're going to click on File, New, Program and then down in this list we're going to choose GP2 multifunction program. Hit OK and your program is created. The GP2 multifunction program editor consists essentially of four panels as I indicated now. To help describe them better I'm going to load an existing program to do that we can click File, Open. Um, because it's a program file we're going to select the program files from the drop down and uh, I'm going to load Introduction to Tutorial Program. So there's the populated program and um, the first panel we're going to look at is the Overview panel. The Overview panel provides a summary of the program, um, important properties of the measurements recordings, controls, alarms, scripts, outputs and variables are shown in this panel. The lists in the overview panel can be collapsed and expanded and to do that you click the little arrow to collapse them and you click them again to restore your list. Each column can be resized by hovering the mouse over the borders of the columns which will give you the arrows. You click and drag and you can make them wider. Click to highlight an item in any of these lists and to display or change its properties in the property panel. To add an item we um, click the click to add a new item row um, in any of these lists and in some of them they'll provide you with um, various options, an option menu. Um, we can select an item, so we could select ML3 for example and to delete any of the items you just press the delete key or right click and select delete. By right clicking these items uh, a pop-up menu becomes available with various options uh, including delete and insertion options and it varies from item to item. If you uh, wish to reorder the items in your list you simply click and hold the mouse button down and then drag and the blue line will indicate where it will be inserted and we can move it back down. If we were to rename one of these measurements we will create an error which is uh, shown with this X icon. Um, by hovering over the icon a message will appear indicating what the problem is and this uh, is used throughout the program to help you ensure the program is in fact valid and is possible to save it. So to correct the error which is saying uh, ECP is no longer a valid measurement we'll just rename the measurement back to what it was and uh, the error goes away. So the next uh, area we're going to look at is the info panel which is the panel in the bottom as highlighted now and um, the info panel provides documentation about the item which is highlighted in the overview panel in this case the where to poor conductivity. For measurements this consists of programming and installation notes. Refer to this panel for detailed information about setting the properties of the measurement and also about wiring and installing the sensor. So if we scale this up slightly um, you can see we have the wet 2 sensor, you have wiring diagram over here with a table um, and further information about how to set up the properties, how to install it and how to check the sensor is working with further references. The wiring diagram can be enlarged by clicking on the, the image uh, this is particularly helpful if you're out in the field and are actually trying to wire it up 
and you're not sort of directly over the computer. You can click it again to toggle its size. Um, another feature of the info panel is that you can actually print this and take it with you, which is very useful again if you're going out into the field, don't have your computer with you and you'd like to reference the material. To do this, we right click in the area, uh, click print application note, which will load up a print preview pane. And this contains the programming and installation notes as were visible within Delta Link. So now here you can print it as you would in a browser window. The next panel we're going to look at is the properties panel, which is the one on the right. It shows you the details or the properties of the item you've currently selected in the overview panel. So if we select a different item, you'll note the properties change. Um, one of the simple properties to change would be the measurement name, where you can simply select the editor on the right and type in what you would like to. For example, theta 1. We'll touch on some of these properties in the next few tutorials, but um, I highly recommend that you look at the Delta Link help for further information on the various properties that are available and their settings. And finally, the property hint panel, which is the one in the bottom right, provides brief information about the property which is highlighted in the property panel. So if you click another property, you'll see that the property hint changes accordingly. Oh, I see that my name change previously created another error. If we could have a look at what it is, it says the invalid measurement theta. So if we quickly click on that and we look at collection calculations, we can select the correct one and correct the error. Um, another feature of the program editor is the help in the context sensitive help. Um, at any area within the program editor, if you select an, an active area, so for example now I'm focused in the overview panel, I hit F1 on the keyboard or the help button on the top right, it will bring up help at the right place for the item I'm currently accessing. So in this case measurements list. If we click on any of these properties, the same thing will happen. It has now brought up voltage input properties, so it's tracked the measurement type, uh, input type of the measurement, which is voltage, and is showing us the topic relevant to that. The help is uh, quite comprehensive and is certainly going to be a, a good resource um, for you in terms of understanding what, all, what is all available, what the properties are, what the variations and combinations are and what you can do with that. So please do have a look at that um, and I'm sure you'll you'll find it very useful. Okay, so finally I'd like to um, show you how to save the program and uh, so to do that we're going to click on File, Save and you'll see a, a little error dialog come up here saying Program Validation Failed. You cannot save a program unless it validates and um, we can see immediately over here what the reason is. If we highlight the red icon, which again is showing the, the error, um, it's saying Theta has changed, which indeed it did because we, ch we changed its name to Theta1. So we'll quickly correct that. So to save this, uh, because we don't want to overwrite the, the existing tutorial program, we click Save As. And then um, we give it another name. So we'll hit save. And your program has now been saved. And again, to load up that program, so if we close this down properly, close the new one we created, save changes to that no. We say file, open. We change the file types to programs. We open the modified program. And there we have the program and you can see the Theta 1 has now changed. So that concludes the introduction to um, the new program editor. I hope you found that informative and please look at the following tutorials in this series to introduce yourself to further concepts. Thank you for your time and please visit our website at www.deltat.co.uk.